So Pathfinder Investiture is coming, and getting ready for it takes a lot of work. Here's how I keep it simple, organized, and pretty painless. Keep watching. Hi, this is Audra with Pathfinder Strong, and today I want to talk to you about Pathfinder Investiture. Sorting through all those patches and pins and preparing for investiture to make sure everybody gets what they need and what they've earned and what they've accomplished all year can be a pretty tedious task. But today I'm going to walk you through my process on how I keep it simple and organized and the things that I do to prepare all year long for this day so it's not quite so painful. So keep watching and see if you can pick up some tips and ideas on how to make your investiture preparation a little bit easier. So I'm going to walk you through my process through preparing for Pathfinder Investiture every year. So I printed the Pathfinder Investiture sheet off of the director's packet and I have quite a few of a pile of those and I'll show you throughout the year on my computer I keep a document called um, honors completed for the year you can see right up here 2017-18 honors completed and I keep a running list every time we complete an honor I, I write down what it is I put who completed it and then I put a T beside their name if they were the person that taught it, so I remember to give them the teaching diamond. So I just keep this running list document throughout the year. It's on Google Drive, so I have it with me on my phone all the time. And what I'm doing right now is I'm going through and filling out these sheets based on what I have on my document. So for example here, I have Josh completed gift wrapping, so I'm writing um, gift wrapping down on his sheet. Okay, so once I have everything written down for this person, then I go over here to my stash of honors and I see if we have what we need. So of what this person needs, I see they need a gift wrapping, so I'm gonna grab one of those, and they need pioneering, so I'm gonna grab one of those. And this person also received some teaching diamonds. So I'm gonna go in this little box and they get three. So here's one, two, three little teaching diamonds. And this is just stuff we've collected over years and years. So don't think I, I mean, this is a stash from years of having a club and just extra things that we keep on hand. Okay, so once I collect what I have that I don't need to order, I highlight that showing that those are the things that I had and then I take a gallon Ziploc bag and I'm going to put all that inside of there. Okay, so here it is all in the Ziploc bag. I've got the sheet on the front so I can see what I still need to order and after I finish this I'll do the ordering and then in the back I've got the honors and patches and things in there. And what else will go in this, this that I'll give out of investiture is the worship book that the book study we did all year I'll put their personal copy in there and I also make a memory book of um, pictures and things from our year that I stick inside there and when we call them up in investiture they get this bag full of their accomplishments and here's there's another one that I've done already and so I'll make one of these bags for every one of my pathfinders and my staff I also just wanted to take a minute and show you how we organize our honors in these boxes. So these are all the ones that we've had left over and just have collected over the years. And we have these plastic boxes. So this is what they this is one box right here. And you can get these at Walmart or a craft store. And then we use little pieces of index card and we write the name of the honor at the top and then we put all those honors in behind there. And they're alphabetized. So like, here's the A's, like this is box one. Here's A, and then it goes through all the way to C, Christian Grooming and Manners. This is the last box, it's got the W's in it. This is box two, you can see C's, cross stitch, all the way to H, J, journalism, heredity. <clears throat> box three, those are the L's, and so on. And anytime we order too many or just have any left over, we um, put them in these boxes and I have one of my staff members that it's kind of her job to make sure these stay organized. And then 
We have a separate box that we keep all of our pins and patches in for classwork and uniform pieces. So the top opens up and has all these small spots in it for the little pins. And then the bottom opens up and it has like the artisan and naturalist master patches, all the master patches. It has our conference patches, pieces for uniforms, TLT stuff, extra slides, excellence award, so on and so forth. So that's kind of how we keep organized with all of our patches and little pins and things. So a couple of days have actually gone by and I've gotten my order from Advent Source and it comes in an envelope with everything in these little bags stapled over in these little packets. And what I'm right, doing right now is I'm laying out all the packets with the patches on top so that I can easily sort into my bags which things people have left. So. I highlighted on their bag what, the, what, they, what I already had in my possession that I already put in their bag. And the things that aren't highlighted are the ones that I have to go back and add in from this order from Advent Source. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that. So I'm actually all done now making my investiture packets. And everything's in a basket and ready to go for Sabbath evening. And during investiture, when we're calling the kids, I just call their name. They come up and I can read off the list of honors and things that they did off their packet, hand them their packet and call it a day. So it's a, it's, it takes a little time, but it's actually a pretty simple and organized way to make sure that you get your investiture packets done for Pathfinders. I'd love to hear how you do your investiture packets, or if you have any suggestions or comments or questions, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.